Hey everyone, it's Luke here from Up North Collectors, and today it's time for episode two of building my very own card shop at 18 years old. You got a mind, but even that could change. You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. That's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst I say and turn them to a game. Take the best I say and put them on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Oh. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past, start a pain, and you'll find a door. Open it up and finally explore. Grab everything that you thought you could never do before. Uh. And even when you feel low, you can still go. Feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. All right, guys, as you can see behind me here, we have the wax wall. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I think it turned out really, really nice. So, as you saw uh, in a clip earlier, me and my dad spent about three or four hours earlier this week putting up all of the slat wall behind me here, uh, which is a really nice tool for retail stores, uh, pretty inexpensive as well, and it looks pretty decent in my opinion. Uh, and then we got all the shelving up, and now I've put all of the product up there that we currently have uh, right now. So I think it looks really cool. Um, I'm excited about it. Actually, we have a pretty decent selection of wax at the moment, in my opinion. Um, pro I think right now I have like 60 or 70 different hobby boxes for sale, uh, which is pretty solid for a new hobby shop. Uh, I got asked this a lot in the last video uh, about allocation. You know, do you have allocation yet? I have zero allocation with any distributors. You actually have to have your full store set up. You have to physically be open. Your store has to be open and selling things. And you have to have a big sign out in the front, which is coming, but not here yet, before you can even apply to any distributors. So definitely going to take some time to get into distribution. I was aware of that when I started. It was one of the expectations I had was that this was going to take a while. And to be honest with you, before you really get much product from these guys, it's probably going to be almost a full year in business before you really get some uh, substantial amount of product from any, any of these distributors um, so I'm kind of expecting that going into it, especially with sports cards. Some of the Pokemon stuff is a little easier to come by, but for sports card hobby boxes, it's in such high demand that it really is not super easy to get a lot of that stuff. So I came in uh, to this opening a card shop expecting that to happen. So I've been picking up some wax at shows uh, from a variety of vendors over the past few months, along with just stuff from even like a blowout or DA with a new release. If they have a nice sale going, pick it up. You know, when I'm selling it, I'll probably only be making five to 10% in the beginning. Uh, to be competitive, I want everything to be priced below or at blowout, but for the most part, it'll be 5 to 10% below blowout pricing. So just something that I'm aware of, but I think we have a pretty solid selection for right now. I'm pretty happy with it. So should be a lot of fun. Uh, huge shout out to my dad and my grandpa for helping me put up the slat wall and uh, getting the shelves together. So I think it looks really nice. Let me know what you guys think of it down below, or if there's any other wax that you would like to uh, see, you know, just let me know in the comments below. I think that'd be really cool. Um, so hopefully uh, going to get some Prism Hobby in uh, and some retail as well. I think that'd be pretty fun. So uh, we'll see what happens uh, with all of that here in the near future, but it does look a lot different. I'm really excited about it. Uh, and it should be a lot of fun when we get to open up here. So here's a little look at what we have left to do in the shop. A Pokemon wall looks pretty decent right now. A lot of different products available. Uh, but definitely need to fill in this retail cube a little bit and get some stuff up uh, just to make the walls a little less empty. So going to put probably like a helmet or something above there. Uh, we've got a couple helmets at home that I can put up. So that'd be kind of cool, I think. Uh, going to get a big up north collector's sports cards and more decal that's going to go above the wall here. And then we've got the TV up, which is cool. I did that yesterday. You guys saw that uh, in the B-roll footage, most likely. Uh, we've got another cubby coming for that corner. A picture going up right there of me with some of the athletes from PAX and Pros. A little collage, which I think will look kind of cool. And then over here on this side, we've got another picture that's going to go up. I think a framed Julian Edelman jersey on this wall, which would look cool. 
Uh, there's going to be a helmet above the supplies, I believe, and then some like sorting trays, boxes, whatever on that other cube. So in this little area right here, something that I want to talk about as well. In the original video, I had said that this wall right here, this little weird half wall was going to come down. I'm actually going to leave that and then leave this little corner. This is going to be my little like card bar area, a place where people can sit and open up cards. With this being such a small space, I didn't really have a ton of room to like put a table or anything in here. Um, so I think that's going to be the best way to do it. So I'm going to get some stools uh, that people can sit on there uh, and open up product on that. The little half wall there, which is currently full of junk. But eventually that will be empty and clean and people can open up stuff uh, and have a lot of fun there, which I think would be cool. Uh, so looking forward to doing that. Going to put some uh, UNC brake mats out there eventually uh, so people can sit somewhere after they buy something, rip it open. Uh, it's part of the fun part of having a hobby shop that I'm really looking forward to is seeing what some people pull in store. I think that would be really cool to see. So that's part of the plan here. Obviously getting the outside looking a little bit better and then filling up some of these showcases um with singles uh sealed wax at least this one right here is going to have sealed wax in it this one might have some sealed wax as well kind of just depends on how much i have what else i can get so that's kind of the plan going forward here of what we have left to do um real quick our official grand opening is going to be july 1st here friday july 1st I'll keep you all posted on the time. Uh, definitely going to make one more video in episode three here before we open uh, of sort of the final results of what it's actually going to look like when we open up. I think that'd be kind of cool. So one more episode of this coming then a bunch more episodes of me actually running my hobby shop on a day to day basis. I can be really cool to kind of document that journey. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. But July 1st here in Manistee, Michigan is going to be our grand opening. I'm going to be giving away a ton of stuff that day. So if you're in Michigan uh, and you're, you know, somewhat nearby don't miss it should be a lot of fun um, i'm really looking forward to it and uh, definitely know i saw in the comments last time which huge uh, shout out to all the support that i got last in the last episode in the comments thank you all for uh, all the nice things you guys put in there really really cool um, but a lot of people were excited to come check it out hopefully this summer so definitely should be a lot of fun grand opening july 1st check it out also tonight, Friday, when this video is going to be posted, I have a whatnot sale going on at 7.30 on whatnot. I'll drop the link down below. So go and check that out. A great way to support my shop uh, is to pick up some singles off of me on whatnot. have a lot of really, really cool stuff going up uh, on $1 auctions tonight. A lot of nice uh, sort of mid-end, like $15 to $50 singles. So go check that out. Uh, if you are interested in picking up any singles, should be a lot of fun, sort of a live card shop or live card show experience on the whatnot app so go ahead and check that out as well but for now i'm going to sign off i'll catch you all in the next video again thank you all so much for the support in the last video and uh, i'm sharing this one as well it really uh, means a lot to me i'm kind of living the dream here this is something that i've i've personally dreamed about doing for a very very long time and now it's actually happening uh, and a lot earlier than i ever expected it to so it should be a lot of fun uh, here with the youtube channel and everything to document this whole process i think you guys will really like it as well so thank you all for watching again the support means the world to me it's really really awesome so thank you all uh, make sure to like the video, and if you're new here, if this is your first time watching the channel, uh, we've been on the channel, me and my dad have been opening up boxes on YouTube here since like 2016, 2017. Uh, so we've been around for a while uh, and now we're doing some new content. I've been opening up cards since I was four years old. Uh, so being able to open up a card shop uh, 12, no, 14 years later, yeah, 18. Uh, 14 plus 4 is 18. Uh, so 14 years later is really, really cool. So I'm super excited about this uh, experience here in this journey. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can follow along and keep up to date with my card shop journey. So again, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no...